Hey guys, John here from John's DIY Playground. Hey, I've got this um, drop-in stove top for my um, pop-up camper that I use. And it's probably about 20 years old. Um, has these stock knobs that came with it. Um, but two of the knobs have been hitting a lot of heat. You can see even this burner got melted down over the years. Too much heat and the knobs don't work right anymore. So I only have one good working knob. And I've been trying to find an equivalent knob. <clears throat> so I found this one is a similar size, but uh, it's not an exact match because the center section is smaller. So it doesn't fit. And what I'm going to do today in this video is demonstrate how I'm going to make an adapter to uh, lob off this center section. And I'm going to make kind of a little interface piece out of plastic, moldable plastic that's called Instamorph. Uh, Instant Morph is like a pellet and what you do is you put it in some hot water and it starts to melt and becomes uh, I guess soft so you can mold it into shape and we're going to do that mold it into shape so that it fits our knob here so first thing we got to do is work on these knobs um, inside of here you'll see where there's a t-slot you might have a piece of metal in there a um, piece of spring steel I'm going to keep that aside in case I want to use it on the converter piece after we're done building it to create that interference fit. But um, <clears throat> next we're going to go to the Dremel and lob off this center section of this new knob. And then we'll get started with Polymorph. So as I mentioned before, what I did is I used a pair of needle nose pliers and I pulled out a piece of spring steel, this little tiny piece of steel that was inside the knob and we want to get that out of there before we go and use the Dremel tool. So got the Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel and safety glasses on of course and let's get to do some cutting. So that's good. Um, I just wanted to get the knob down to, let's say, about level with the top of the the bottom of the knob, get that center knob out of there, because that's where we're going to put the Instamorph when we make our new adapter piece. All right, we got our boiling, well, not boiling, but hot water going. You don't want boiling water. Um, our target is between no below 140 degree Fahrenheit. And really they suggest don't do it over 150 because you might start burning your fingers when you get this stuff out of there and start to mold it. So we're at 151, so that's pretty good. Um, as far as how much Instamorph to use in this case, what I was thinking is I've got this knob here and I've got a tablespoon. Um, they're about the same size and diameter, so I think one tablespoon per knob of Instamorph is going to be more than enough product. So what I'm going to do is just take this stuff. It's a kind of a... A white pellet like I said you pour it into the water and um, it says to wait about two minutes and after two minutes the pellets will go from white to clear and once they're clear you can basically take a, a spoon or something and kind of mix them together they'll be real sticky to each other and then pull them out so I'll let that do that and we'll move on next to the next step all right it's been a couple minutes and you can see uh, how the pellets have turned clear in color. Um, I'm just going to take my spoon here and you can see they're all just uh, stuck together inside. That whole mass moves around. So I'm just going to kind of um, take a little bit of it and try to uh, break off a piece and leave the rest in there because I don't need all of it for the one first knob. I'm going to just let it, the other rest of it stay hot. Now I have a few minutes to work this stuff and you can always reheat it and use it over and over again. So let me try to get this thing into shape and show you what I'm looking to uh, create. Here's a technique I found that works um, for shaping the knobs. Taking some of the Instamorph out of the stove now and I'm kind of uh, forming it with my fingers just kind of getting it all together so it's like a Play-Doh kind of a shape but 
push it down on the shaft here and kind of form a, a cylinder and then hammer down the top a little and you want to make sure it's centered on that knob and full there's plastic all around it so I've got it like this I'm going to take one of the knobs and put it underneath my fingers underneath and kind of push down on this thing so that it takes on the shape and I push down until I feel it hit the metal of the knob that uh, the shaft that's down underneath it and just gonna let it sit like that and I'll show you what it looks like when it cures so here's our finished product um, I waited about 15 minutes 20 minutes before I went and pulled this knob off um, you'll know that it's back to let's say its final cured state when you see it turn very bright white again no uh, more translucency or clearishness to it so uh, the fit to the knob seemed really good onto the shaft here I don't think I need that piece of spring steel that I had um, but I did start pulling on the one and I expected this to happen is it such a good fit and it's so nice and snug here that um, the knob of course is just sitting on top in its shape there so the last step we're gonna do before we finish up and call it a a new project done is use some of this JB weld and JB weld is kind of like an epoxy two parts you just use equal parts put it on a piece of cardboard and stir it with a stick and then we'll just coat the underside of this knob a little bit and then like stick it on there and that takes maybe let's say it uh, I would leave it just overnight to cure to be sure but once it's cured, it's cured and we're gonna be all set so that's it hope you enjoyed this project if you did like it please give me a thumbs up and click subscribe to see more videos from me as I make them. This is John from John's DIY Playground. Have a great day.